All right, hi Scorpio, welcome to the tarot. If you're new here, you are very welcome. Hi. If you are a returning member, welcome back. I freaking love you. Hit that like and subscribe like you guys know it matters. Um, we are almost to 2K and I'm so freaking grateful. I love you guys. Um, Spirit, help me get clear and precise messages for my viewers. Archangel Michael, the rest of my team, angels, ancestors, God. Block any interferences, block any negativity, return it to cinder or where it belongs because it don't belong here. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. This is kind of a lot. Um, this is a free general read for my Scorps. If you ever need a personal reading, that information is always in the description box below, as well as my PayPal link. Um, you can send messages through PayPal if you want, if you need anything, or if you just want to bless what goes around, comes around. Um, wow, Scorpio. Yeah, things look really, really good and really chill for you coming up, but okay. So up top you got Capricorn, Aries, Jealousy, Libra. Um, you could be, you're leaving behind some envious energies. People who watch you out of envy, spite, Capricorn, devil energy, Aries, fight energy, uh, Libra. You could be dealing with a shadow Libra, like a, a not balanced, not wise, not just Libra. Um, in the beginning, there was a, a big emphasis on something may look like something, but it is the complete freaking opposite. It's different. It's very different. Somebody's really jealous of you, but they don't realize that you are human too, and you have transgressions, and you have a whole freaking story of how you got somewhere. You're walking away from people who bring a lot of karma. You're walking away from people who choose karma. You're walking away from that shit. You're walking away from people who don't use their intellect, don't use their intuition, and don't use, you know, better judgment. But you got some envious, hating ass energies around you that watch you, stalk you. But they're watching you kind of do your thing. You could be in a really lighthearted energy with courtship and playmate here. Um, especially with the player here. You don't want no parts of player energy. Like, even if you are going out on dates or hooking up with a playmate, it's like, you better be the only one or n no one at all. You're not really feeling the bouncing around from people to people. Like... You, you just don't. You're you're better than that. You're smarter than that. But either somebody is watching your finances and they're worried about your finances. This could have been a player towards you in some kind of way. Or you're playing the game of finances and you're kind of doing, doing whatever you need to do to gain. This is like play hard or work hard, play hard later or something like that. Somebody in your energy as well. Um... They're in a lot of depression and regret and sadness, toxicity, happen to stay silent and watch you because they chose to be a player of some kind of game in the past. They, they know, they know they shot themselves in the foot and now they're depressed, murky thoughts, because all they can do is kind of like watch you in silence. What? I, this per, these people could have done this like a couple of times. There's also a thief in your energy that could have been stealing from you for a very long time or stole a great deal from you. I would not want to be around any one of these karmic ass jealous thieving people, especially if any of their um, decisions affected any children. Fuck that dude. Like there's a special place for those kind of people. You know what I'm saying? And you don't want to be in that place anymore. So reason, intellect, taking listening to advice, thinking clearly and intellect, but you're coming out, you're coming away from watching energies, jealous energies, player, ugh, you like, ugh, the word, you're kind of mind blown how, like, unintelligent some people can be, like, you might be thinking, like, you're just playing stupid. Like, you can't... You're not really that stupid. Like, you're just playing stupid. You're just playing... Are you just... Are you pretending to be that stupid? Because there's no possible way you are that stupid. Anyway, um... Then we also have supernatural here. Inexplicable, miraculous, and otherworldly. Understand and appreciate 456 that miracles 
whether they be small or large, are coming in for you, especially this month in sidereal astrology. It is still Scorpio season with the with the Venus and the Moon working together in your favor. You're going to have a great December, basically, and it will probably stay that way until January. This is a good time for you to be manifesting and stuff like that. Somebody else, though, in your energy, possibly out of envy, glutton, they could have made some kind of proposal to somebody that they're not even attracted to, to steal from you, or to try to take someone that they're not even attracted to from you. But if that person is stupid enough to fall for it, you, you dropped him like a hot potato, you don't have time for that shit anymore either. Then we have transgression, flaws, contradictions... A mistake. Uh oh, you made a mistake. It's my son's favorite song. Um, and then seduction. You, yeah, you, you're kind of having to forgive yourself for falling for like seductive energies. Somebody in your energy could be trying to forgive themselves for falling for seductive energies as well. Somebody could have like a lot of addictions nowadays. Moving in silence, toxic, and winning. You're kind of just like tip towing in your Jordans past the snakes and the haters and the weird jealous fucking stalker energies so that you can keep progressing keep winning um we have player in the it's funny the way that this looks because player in the reverse mystery upward and wedding you're you're done with the player kind of energies you, you don't have time for that some of you are actually getting married or you're coming together with something or someone winning and wedding it's beautiful it is so freaking beautiful now somebody else especially in the reverse they feel like a dumb mother f they d they have no intuition no intellect they're karmic as shit they constantly choose karma anyway they're really depressed murky thoughts sad um they feel stupid they look stupid they're getting a lot of judgment from the people around them one for taking from you wasting you know your time because other people are holding you in very high regard they kind of you're kind of like on this mysterious like kind of pedestal not a pedestal like you're you're untouchable or you're not human but but kind of yeah like people anyway somebody else in your energy murky thoughts worry doubt pessimism lost hope insecurity confusion lack of focus expression uncertainty and concern um they this is like, instead of it being like, why pay for milk when you could have the cow? This person shot the cow. You know what I'm saying? Um, especially because anyone who is smart at all, especially if this is a masculine or a feminine, but anyone who's intelligent at all knows that if they invest in the right person or invest in the right company, that whatever they have to their name is going to multiply, especially with, with a Scorpio kind of energy. You work with the world, you work with the universe, and you work with the other worlds to manifest. Great water here, like, boom, you know what I'm saying? Yearning, dreams, wishes, goals, a broad foreign people, spirituality, broadening horizons, new views number 36 somebody completely feels like they shot the cow they 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 probably feel as dumb as they look and a lot of people are looking at them like a complete dumbass and it's not just one person it could be up to three to five somebody's also mad that they can't be toxic and lie to a fortune teller because we got player in the reverse and then fortune teller upright that's your energy Somebody's also mad that you see them as karmic, but they make karmic ass moves all the freaking time. And you could be opening up other people's minds or eyes to working with, with spirituality, to working with energy, to, to, you know what I'm saying? But somebody or a couple people are pissed and depressed. And I can only imagine why if they're not intelligent, they're not intellectual, they're not intuitive. I can only imagine what they're like intimately, you know, like, no, no, thank you. Someone hates on your spirituality, so you broke it off with that person because here you are. Someone hates on your spirituality. Here you are. <laughs> so you kind of broke away from that person. Some of you could be buying a home, moving homes, or um, relocating homes. 
And then we also have unlocking family room, ending, manifestation, fulfillment, caregiver, success in love. I'm telling you, divine support. Um, you're, you're either you're getting legit married and it's going to happen like boom, or you're, you're coming together with something that makes you feel in love, like, like some kind of love. There's a lot of love and happiness, even in your pre-shuffle. Y'all saw, if you didn't see, click off here and go watch the oracles. But yeah, um, people are feeling stupid. They're mad. Somebody could be mad at your blessings and mad that you, you know, kind of stayed blessed up and to yourself um but yeah if they didn't if they weren't so fucking low vibe and low iq they could probably you know work for their own happiness you might be a little bit worried about money yeah if somebody's mad and sad i'm telling you somebody could be coming forward to apologize but do you believe it i i, I don't know it probably depends on the person um you could be making you could be making a, like wise decisions about your future towards family members because we have unlocking family room and ending. Um, you could be literally deleting people that you're related to, like out of your life, out of your, yep, family room flew out in the reverse. But um, yeah. Resolution, revelation, openness, new path, solution, destiny, success, significant, answers, influential. So, again, even your haters are watching you. Um, but for the people who ain't haters and for the people who like to use their brains and intuition, you're helping them. Some of y'all need to go sit by water. Or go out to some place with water. Even if it's freezing as shit, it's going to help you. Maybe someone thinks that them stalking you intimidates you. It gets on your nerves, but you continue to kind of just be nice like you you don't really care origin um and that could make them even more mad who cares though but you could be keeping things lighthearted with courtship and playmate you could be talking to someone but like just that like let's keep things lighthearted we don't have to you know like there's it feels like there's a little a little dose of commitment here but you both may be coming from really really toxic uh just like gross you know what i'm saying like dangerous situations so you're kind of just keeping things casual but this person sees you as their their person they don't want the casual they don't want to be friends they don't want to it's like somebody's like fighting back being like okay but can i can i have you forever it's like now <laughs> yeah, it's cute you could be hanging out with this person this weekend or this week okay what's coming in with courtship and then we'll get into the tarot thank you guys for hitting that like so somebody's mad that they chose to date whoever they dated somebody's pissed they're mad and they could be having a kid and yeah they're mad oh my goodness gracious i would say that this could be your energy but it doesn't feel like you have kids with these people yeah withdrawn you 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 withdraw and memory with yeah Someone's mad at you because they chose to go towards. <sighs> mad at you because they have to settle. They they actually don't though, but it's not your fault that somebody chooses. Stupid. Look, I'm telling you, 
Somebody is hella, hella depressed. Sorrow, damage, bereavement. You could have been like really loyal to this person. You could have like, um, you could have put this person on a pedestal like when everybody told you, no, this they're a liar, they're a cheater, they're a fucking thief. You could have been like, no, no. Nah. And yeah. So somebody else could be finding out that, you know, I will say this. Me, personally, and y'all do whatever y'all want. It's kind of hard to feel bad for people who are constantly attacking you and taking out their own situations on you. Stalking you, watching you. Offense, madness, unpleasant, fury. I know, it's, it's kind of hard to be nice to people like that. But at the same time, it feels like you kind of feel bad for whoever this is because it's like, they, ha they don't even know what it's like to experience, like, genuine, it, I don't it makes me wonder, like, has this person ever been, because Playmate is here, has this person ever been in real love where they don't have to worry about being cheated on, or lied to, or taken for granted, like, and that doesn't have anything to do with you, that's their own fault. Maybe that's why you're like, that man, there's no way you're this dumb. There's just not. People can't really be this dumb. Not for real. But, yeah. It's coming in with the playmate. There is a lot of synchronistic. Okay, we got 222844, which is 8. So pay attention. I'm telling you, somebody don't want to be, somebody wants to like, somebody does not want to be a player. Or somebody don't want to play anymore. They want, you know, this could be making somebody else really, really freaking mad. But. I can only speak for myself exactly I can only speak for myself I personally have never cheated on anyone I had one thing happen when I was like a teenager but I felt so bad that I told the person that I was dating at the time I told them exactly what happened and then I broke uh, we just kind of broke up we still remain great friends I'm I'm actually on good terms with all of my exes except for one that's how I know that I'm not a problem but um Anyway, what I was getting at, because I know loyalty, because I, I, I physically, spiritually, mentally cannot cheat on someone, I know that I'm not meant to be with someone who can't. I can't understand something like that. Just like this player can't understand your kind of loyalty, you can't understand their kind of unloyalty so y'all really like it's something about like you, incompatibility you know they can't understand that kind of depth and you can't understand that kind of pain you're not meant to this could have really fucked up your health trying to be around people who can who can steal and cheat and lie like that Coming in with anxiety and then female. Illness, I'm telling you. Someone in your energy could have a real mental illness, though. Murky thoughts and illness here. Disease, weakness, fragility. So somebody in your 
somebody around you could have an actual mental illness. You know exactly who I'm talking about whenever I say mentally ill. There's no way that someone can be this dumb, you know. You know who I'm talking about. Um, maybe, maybe you know that they're mentally ill. Ooh, Lord, yeah, you do. You could be kind of a having to show this person that they're somebody could be mad at you for that and yeah and you're you're side eye and whoever this is that's willing to play on somebody's mental illness what the fuck this is fucking weird it's coming in with finances and murky thoughts Live and learn. Experience. Training. Development. Somebody could also be taking, learning from you, taking from you, taking from your aura and stuff, which is beautiful, and trying to, trying to use it with somebody else, but that's not Mandy Moore. That's Rachel Steigler. <laughs> you said, all right, man, I'm good. Best of luck. <laughs> Somebody doesn't think they're good enough for you because they may not have the, um, the money or the intelligence to keep up with you. Yep, overload. friendship in the reverse yep you yeah you ended some kind of friendship with someone who's easily manipulated what's coming in with proposal and thief thief Embarrassment. Gossip and unwillingness as well. So, you feel like some someone could be a decent human or some people around you could be. Look, overloaded again. It's like this person don't even understand how, how to be decent, be, be a decent human being. You got a group of people trying to attack you. They could be working together to, to fucking bully you. Here's, here's the judge. Somebody could stalk you just to get on your nerves. Like they want any kind of, um, response from you. What's coming in with adjudication and attraction in the reverse? Evidence. Adjudication and evidence. Yeah, this uh, mentally disturbed person might want to fucking think twice. I guess they don't realize there's death. And the karma that, that whoever this unintelligent person, the karma that they choose, it could because they have racked up so much spiritual fucking karma, they could be, yeah, they could be um, experiencing actual losses, like actual endings. Man, people don't think, yep, stubbornness. People don't, people think that they're above God. They're above the fucking universe. That is the dumbest thing you could ever do or think but but some people will be like no i'm gonna go ahead and rob that person today i'm gonna go ahead and blind that person today nothing will happen to me i'll, I'll get over it i'll get around it shoulder shrug shoulder shrug and then they end up going through disasters deaths famine disease tragedy after tragedy after tragedy and they still want to look like this 
and you have probably tried to warn this person on multiple occasions and they still choose karma. <sighs> it's coming in with player in the reverse and fortune teller. Relaxation, yes. Karmic in the reverse and mystery. <laughs> Justice. Yes. I watched a, a thing that showed statistics a while back to that they, that men will choose girls who are easier to manipulate. It's not really about age, looks, money. It's not, it's whoever I can say whatever to and they will believe it. That's typically who they will go after. I've even seen girls get rejected and in the re rejection message, it said, you're, you're too smart. You're too, you're too, um, I, I can't get one over on you basically so we can be friends but <laughs> all right wedding and water some of y'all could be getting married on a beach damn look at that we got natural disaster risk frustration survive number 38 if um if any of these people, yeah, re reservation, if any, if any of, like, these could be family members and, and co-workers, if they've caused any kind of disaster for you, they're going through that now. From relaxation to justice with the scales and then disaster, <sighs> the scales are balancing out. And unfortunately... These people chose exactly what they dished out. <laughs> oh my god. There's a masculine from your past. Eternal love. Daydream. But pride. There's a masculine from your past that um, chooses, you know, um, naive friends and reservation, gift, and okay, good news, third wheel, and gain, <laughs> triumph. Um, but they, they think about you 24 seven. You got, you got blessings coming in. Lord. Okay. Gift and reservation. That's a beautiful energy for this to all end up on. Let's get into the tarot. The lovers again. You could have... Be cautious of someone who thinks that you belong to them, like a freaking um, possession. And be cautious. Watch, watch how people take care of their belongings. See, a, a good test that I'm kind of learning, a good observation that I'm kind of learning is, do they have anything valuable? Do they value anything that they have even if it's just a t-shirt but they love this t-shirt they clean this t-shirt they only wear the t-shirt on special occasion if anything happens to that t-shirt they would be really sad <laughs> because the way that a man especially but anyone the way that someone takes care of their belongings and the way that they either value what they have or they don't is going to tell you exactly how they're going to be in a relationship if they don't even value their own vehicle, their own house, their own clothes, 
What makes you think that they're going to value a person? They won't. Yeah, I know that karma too, Rail, so I hope you're doing cool. But still, stupid at night with you. That's what, that's what this is reminding me of. That's Big Sean. He knows. He knows. Two of Cups Reverse. Gone through some kind of breakup. You could have broken up with someone because they're just too jealous, man. High Priestess. That's a big fat no. Emperor. It's coming in. The magician. So, using your intuition and breaking it off, this is a straight up no and a no. Breaking it off with someone and manifesting your own thing by having to go through actual hardship because of it. Now, whoever put you in the hardship, now they're having to go through it. Taurus energy. Virgo, Gemini, Pisces. What's coming in with the Two of Cups reverse? What's coming in? Six of Cups. Yeah, you can't get over something that somebody did. I'm hearing like repulsed. Ace of Wands. This person knows that you know too, that's why they stay quiet. Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands though, you could be a uh, Coming together with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Four of Cups. Seven of Swords. That is a no to deception. Yeah, this this person or these people, I don't know if this is a boss or a lover, but if they could have been hitting you up on the low, they could still be hitting you up on the low. I feel like just like that dude who was trying to use his intuition or whatever, you can't even think of anything to say. And that's pretty bad. the magician. It's coming in with the magician. 
Two of Wands. So something that you're anticipating, it's coming. You, you think about it all the time. You might could be dreaming about it. The lovers, damn. And the sun, oh my God, that's freaking beautiful. You might be dreaming about something. It's, it's coming. Knight of Cups and Temperance. Ace of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. Yeah, you're in a like. Damn. You can achieve some great things right now. That's all I'm going to say. This energy that you're in. So what's, the, what's coming in with the Five of Pentacles? Knight of Cups. Ace of Cups again. And Temperance. Could be coming together or working with a Sagittarius. Here's the Hierophant. So Sagittarius and Taurus energy. The Hanged Man. Devil, oh Lord, have mercy. Oh my God, somebody is for the streets. It's like you can smell it on this person. King of Pentacles. Somebody might like, oh, anyway. You live rent free in some people's heads and they uh they are paranoid about you and whatever they've done when you weren't looking wheel of fortune that's probably why they're so paranoid outcome for scorpio seven of pentacles death i'm telling you that's a fucking hefty price tag but someone is gluttonous dude glutton for punishment final outcome Swords. The Fool, the Lovers, the Hanged Man. This is a freaking major time for you. Knight of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Six of Swords. Somebody's heartbroken. You could also be um, breaking up with or leaving behind. A Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that's just too fucking dramatic. This person's too fucking dramatic. You don't want no parts of that. Let's get some clarification. The Hermit and the Sun. Leo, Virgo. Uh, dude, this is major. This is all majors. Your last reading was major as well. The Devil and the Lovers, that was crazy. Hell's energy is crazy. Queen of Cups.
coming in with the two of cups reverse six of cups honestly it's breaking away from the past letting it die right where it's at but somebody's mad and that's not your fault Yeah, the chariot. You could have a really angry cancer in your energy. You could have expected this person to be a friend, and they decided to be a fucking thief. Two of cups. Six of cups. <coughs> well, damn. <coughs> Ace of wands and the three of coins. I'm telling you. You could be collaborating with an Aries Leo Sag or... Definitely uh, Ace of Wands energy. Okay, I'll just say that. Being very a lot of a lot of passion. High Priestess coming in with the High Priestess. Two of Swords cutting off. Could be cutting off a fucking Pisces. Be careful of the Pisces around you, the fool. You might not be seeing something clearly. The star. energy Pisces born in February or early. I don't know. Pisces Aquarius, just be very, very discerning right now. Knight of Wands. Seven of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you want to go slowly. You don't want to Justice. Death. <sighs> so it could have been dark enough to, you know, welcome that shit into them and their loved ones. But the magician. Somebody still, somebody will forever be competing with you. It doesn't matter what you do, where you are, who you're with. They will forever be competing with you. But Ten of Cups, Six of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, damn. It's uh, a lot of competition, I guess, but... Yeah, you don't even care. You don't care. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. You're working on your love, your emotions, you're extremely freaking happy. Could be letting go of an earth sign. This is like grounding emotion, loving grounding energy here. Could be a cancer from the past, knight of cups, the fool, five of cups, uh, making an appearance, showing up or something. All right, what, why is the five of pentacles here? Uh, 
Five of Pentacles to clarify the Five of Pentacles. What is it? Whoa. What is it? Justice. So, yeah. <clears throat> if if any if anyone you're making peace with the past, letting it letting everything you've come from die where it is, but if if someone comes to you and has any kind of proposal at all and they make you feel any kind of sadness, loss, anything negative, no, because they have to pay for they got justice coming their way. Seven of Cups, King of Swords, Three of Cups. There's some some masculine figure as well that has has to pay. They could have messed with your stability, your finances. They could have blindsided you, and now they're having to pay for that as well. It's the hanged man. The eight of swords. So breaking free from something that made you feel trapped or stuck. It was like it was an illusion. Yeah, that's the lovers. You don't you don't necessarily see this union coming in you might not be focused on it right now but four of wands there's a capricorn virgo taurus waiting for you waiting for you or waiting to hear from you. Judgment reverse. But they're, um, they're receiving karma. And the pitiful thing is they still don't want to look at it as karma. Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords, Seven of Coins. Holy crap, dude. You're having seven, seven, seven. Like, it, divine. <laughs> Blocking malicious, deceptive behavior and protecting your investments. Look at that. Blocking. Yeah, hater, deceptive. Why I'm cheating, stealing, and investing. If someone um, blocked you from something or took from you and tried to invest it in themselves or invest it in someone else, it's going to die every time. It's going to rot. Ten of Cups, Six of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. Man, this looks like celebratory. King of Cups, Four of Cups, Three of Swords. Yeah, you're rejecting any kind of heartbreak. Uh right now I don't know why but I advice for score well let's see advice for score mad here everyone is a little different you're like I'm okay with the good crazy I'm okay with healthy crazy but if they're there we go over there uh -uh. somebody you could be getting a cat I want to be a queen stating your sovereignty declaring freedom passing a test 
You might be getting a cat. It could be a white cat or an orange cat. One more. Messages for a rabbit. Service to the animal world. Service to the animal world. You're Somebody's getting some kind of pet and it could be for Christmas or for the holidays. Such a curious dream. Grounding. Returning to reality and coming home. Some of y'all are definitely moving into a home, getting a new home. These animals manage to be glad. Create your own happiness regardless of conditions. You're about to be feeling really comfortable. Do not drink poison and forget who you are. Okay, that is very telling. That is what I have for this one. I hope it gave you some clarity, some guidance, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!